Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 we're going to test something for the poor souls in those countries that can't fly on 700 milliwatts. Now whether you really can or not I'm not going to get into. Is there ways around this if you're stuck on 25 milliwatts? Yeah there are. I'm not going to cover that in this video. There will be people who will but I'm in the United States so I'm fortunate enough to be able to fly at 700 milliwatts all the time. Can you fly this system on 25 milliwatts though? Well, I'm going to try it today with this quad that I've put together and my DJI goggles. So I'm going to try and fly it. First, we're going to see it on 700 milliwatts. Then we're going to switch it. And I'm going to show you how to switch it back and forth between the two to 25 milliwatts and then do a comparison. I've got uh, them flying. We'll show both flights. And then I'm going to show after that them side by side so we can talk about what I've done and uh, what it looks like to me. And then I finally got brave with this thing and let it rip. I wasn't as afraid of breaking it. So uh, we'll just let it go and see what happens and see at higher speeds if it's any different than when I'm just putzing around trying to look at the quality. So I'm going to make sure I stand in the same spot each time. I've got a little spot here, so I want to stand the same way. I'm probably going to end up looking around just because I do that, but I can't see quite the furthest that I'm going here from here. It's cut off by my house just a little bit, so we'll see how that affects it too. We're going to take off. It's unlocked. So as I said, this is 700 milliwatts. I'm gonna go over the tree, go the length, which is about, I'm gonna go out to about 250 meters. Now I have increased the camera angle. Normally here, I have no problem at all. I am, uh, I am in angle mode. Normally have no problem there at all. With 25 milliwatt though, I sometimes have problems there. So I'm gonna go past and around these trees, with analog, I always have breakup around these trees. On the other side of those trees, always, no matter what the power is. Now I can actually see a little extra pixelation. So we're going to go this way. I don't know why I'm flying in angle mode. I'm going to go on the other side of the house. Here I have a little bit of jitter. Now it was better than last time. I, I don't know why. This is a different unit. Let's do another lap around the house. This is stupid, I don't know why I'm in angle. All right, let's do a slow pass around the house. I had no problem there at all. I did go drop to two bars, but I had no breakup, no issues at all. So if I go now, I did three laps around the house. If I go on this side of the tree, I do have a little bit of breakup you can see there, and uh, I think that's good. Okay, let's compare that with 25 milliwatt. So to go between 700 and 25 milliwatts or back and forth, you want to click the little D-pad stick and click and that'll bring up the menu. Go down to settings and then go up or down all the way down. You want to go to device. And then from there, you have options. So we are on 700 milliwatts. If I click and I go down to 25 milliwatts, now I'm set. So that'll now transmit and it changes immediately. You don't have to repower anything. I wasn't sure the first time I tried it, but uh, it goes right there. And then you can go back out and you're now on 25 milliwatts. Okay, now on 25 milliwatt, I'm gonna try and do the exact same thing. It's pretty much the exact same speed. All right, you can already see a little more breakup on the sides. Oh, there we go. So uh, there I had some pretty bad breakup. I still have control though. I'm down to one bar. I still have control. It's about the same, I'm gonna say. A lot of breakup. I'm gonna say it's about the same as I get with 25 milliwatt on analog. Um, it's digital, so the breakup is there, but the, it was still flyable within, that's right at 250 meters that I went. Little scary with the uh, with the trees right there, but analog off, often has issues there as well. Maybe not quite that bad. Here on the other side of the tree, I had a little bit of breakup. Let's see what happens on the other side of the house. Let's see, I went on the other side of this bush the last time. I did pretty much that exact same thing. So here, a lot of breakup, a lot of breakup. Still totally flyable though. I really didn't have any major issues there. So let's see, we went around the house three times. We went around this way again. I am in 
Oh, I had had a little packet loss there, just a little bit on the other side of the house. Still, again though, totally flyable. So this time we're gonna go slow around the house like we did. And gonna go low. A lot of more packet loss. It was blocky, but I didn't notice I was dropping frames at the time. I could fly through it without a problem, but it didn't record in the DVR, so I actually have a skip there to make sure everything syncs up with the rest of the flight. Still totally flyable, though. Um, I could fly that without a problem. Uh, it, it's actually better than I expected. I was afraid it would be really, really bad. So there on the other side of the tree, a little bit more breakup, but there you go. That's what I experience where I fly with 25 milliwatt. Is that flyable? Yeah, absolutely. You have to be a little more cautious, but it's about the same as what you get with 25 milliwatt analog. So if you fly analog 25 milliwatt, you can fly this 25 milliwatt. So here I tried to set up the timing for the 700 milliwatt and the 25 milliwatt flight side by side so you can get a comparison and you can decide what you think of the quality of the difference. So I want to do one more test at 25 milliwatts. I'm going to be in full uh, acro mode here. So the other day when I tested, I reviewed it afterwards and I didn't, I just kind of flew out a little bit. I didn't do a lot. Oh, there's somebody mowing. Okay, I can't go quite over there so much. But I wanted to go over here a little more, try it a little harder, try it a little more out of control with uh, regular flight modes like I would just to make it more accurate to uh, what it's going to be like flying in a regular environment on a regular day. Because the flights I did for that first test weren't really real, they were, uh, they were testing flights. So here I wanted to do more, more uh, test kind of flights here to see what it looked like. And you know what, it looks just fine there. I wish that guy wasn't mowing down there so I could uh, test a little more. This quad is fast. Gosh, I like this. Um, I need to update it, maybe this weekend. But anyway, so let's go back here 200 meters or so. We'll go, there's no golfers here right now. So there's 250 meters, full speed. I did get down to two bars. Don't want to lose it in this woods, but I'm no, not worried about that 25 milliwatts. It's really just fine. Yeah, so there's more of an aggressive flight. I'm at 13 volts. I've been hammering it pretty hard here. Okay, down, down around 13 volts, but 
really that's at 25 milliwatts and that was fine I mean for what I'm flying now I'm at 14 and a half volts wish you could see that it's kind of nice that you can't but I kind of wish you could kind of works both ways you know what I mean oh and it's beeping at me because it's angry all right well, there we go so there's a more aggressive flight at 25 milliwatts see around this tree even with analog it breaks up a lot there I'm not sure what happens why that tree those willow trees are just really bad but it, I mean it breaks up a little bit it breaks up a little bit on analog still totally flyable that still looks better than analog does over there most of the time so I'm uh yeah I'm gonna be flying this quad I'm gonna be flying this quad a lot actually I really like this quad holy cow I have not I've been using it for testing and I have not been banging on it at all oh recovered all right oh now the battery I'm gonna kill this battery uh oh so there you go is this system useless at 25 milliwatts I don't think so. Is your analog useless at 25 milliwatts? To me, it was about the same. Maybe not quite as good. Um, if I fly to the end of my golf course at 25 milliwatts on analog, it depends a lot on the quad. It depends a lot on the quad. I never felt like I was going to lose control of it. I never felt like I was in danger of losing it or having a problem with it. So where I fly here, if I had to, I could fly at 25 milliwatts. Am I going to? No, no, I'm not going to do that. Are you crazy? Of course I'm going to fly at 700 milliwatts because I can. It just looks better, just as better. So if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see what happens when you fly at 25 milliwatts with better antennas because I already tried it and uh, that's going to be up tomorrow. So until next time, remember, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to put there. I'm going to, I'm going to figure out something. Oops.